Hey, 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 what is up? And welcome to Goddess on the Rise. I am your host, Sarah Burke. And if you're here, thank you. This podcast is all about being real, raw, and authentic AF. So if that's not your vibe, go ahead and skedaddle. But for the women who are here, this is your time to step in your power, to be confident as fuck, and just be that self loving goddess on the rise that is in every single one of us. So buckle up, girlfriend. We are going on a ride. Thursday. Welcome to today's show of Goddess on the Rise. So if you aren't following me on social media, here is your 550th reminder to follow me on social media because it will tell you all about the podcast, all things confidence, self-love, um, you know, basically all the things. And you probably would know that today is a very special episode because it includes the sister. Miss Katie, you want to say hi? Hi! (laughs) So today we're doing like a sister tell all, spill the tea on each other, but like in a really cute way, in a cute like, I don't know, sisterly way that we always do, right? Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Spill the tea. (laughs) Spill the tea, but not like too much tea, like just enough tea to where it's not like... (laughs) Oh, shit. No, listen, listen. If you're like, you know what? I really want to know the tea. You can go find the tea because we actually did a podcast episode on the tea, right? You're not kidding. So that podcast episode is actually still one of my highest listened to episodes because you all, you're nosy. You're nosy and I understand it. I get it. People want to know They just wanted to hear from me. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then you would think that maybe you would post more about my podcast. Yeah, no, I don't do anything on social media these days. <laughs> I just sit back and watch like a creep. How's that for spill the tea? <laughs> oh, God. So, if you guys don't already know, me and my sister, we are like... The closest we've ever been, don't you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. And best friends forever? BFFs, girls. <laughs> and, <what's, laughs> and what's really funny is, um, like, we don't usually go a day without talking at least once. I honestly don't know the last day we didn't talk at some point during the day. Yeah, I guess I should take that back. We always go, we always talk every single day, but I guess what I mean is, like, FaceTime. There's, like, sometimes where we go, like, a day or two, but it's not often. No, it's not often, and sometimes on those days, we might FaceTime. It may just be, like, a minute or two, but we'll still FaceTime usually, too. Yeah, that's very There's not very often that it's just text or snap. Yeah, and we tend to get ourselves in trouble with that. Because our husbands are like, <laughs> it's disgusting. They like love us or something. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. And they're oh. like, why are you talking to her again? And it's like, why do you even care? We're not doing anything. Yeah, it's just our sister. Like, just like, be jealous. Yeah. Like, let, let us talk to the person that makes us happy, okay? <laughs> If only they knew that almost at all times we have a text, snap, and Instagram conversation always going on. And then there's times we'll be conversating on all of those platforms as well as being on FaceTime. <laughs> there's numerous times that happens. That's really true. There's also numerous times where we're just sitting on FaceTime, not even oh, talking. Yeah. Yeah, just sending each other, like, memes back and forth and yeah. stuff like that. Or this morning, did you realize, like, both of us were on FaceTime and, like, you were, like, washing your face and I was, like, doing my makeup and 
There was like a solid like five minutes where we didn't say a thing. Yep, yep. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> you're yep. you're still there. <laughs> or you'll be working while on FaceTime, and I'll have to be parenting Ben, and I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm doing something with him or whatever, and you're working, or you're talking to Chris and having your own life over there, and I'm over here parenting Ben, and we're still on FaceTime. Yeah. Like, the times where we probably don't even need to be on FaceTime, we're still on FaceTime. Of course. So, that brings us into, what what question do you want to go over first? No, you can pick. I'll let you lead the way on okay, that. Okay, I'm going to actually catch you off guard. Okay. Just because I was thinking about it and, like, just our, oh, like, no. relationship. What do you think makes us good sisters? Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I sent Katie um, some, like, prompts. Like, I was just thinking, this is actually really random. I just thought of it yesterday, like, of her coming on the podcast. Because, mm-hmm. I was like, we were talking about it. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just do a sister episode because, you know, I'm obsessed with my sister. <laughs> about time you asked. <laughs> Oh God! I'm shut just the... I'm just kidding. Shut up! <laughs> I oh got my you. God! If if Hi, I you off guard. if I had it my way, we would actually have our own podcast. I see. I thought about that so many times, but I'm just I'm not good at this kind of thing. Well, it seems like it's really natural right now. Well, right now we're talking about like something like it's just us. <laughs> like this is like a Facetime conversation right now. Yeah. If we had to talk about other topics, but don't I don't you, know how. Did we yeah. just come up with a podcast? <laughs> we'll talk about this off the podcast. No, no, no. My <laughs> listeners need to know right now. They're like, I I just think, you know what? We've always wanted our own reality show. Let's make a reality podcast. You know, this might, we might be on to something. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not committing yet. Don't yes, you sign are. me up for just yet. Yes, no, you because are. I'm gonna feel like the worst person on the face of the planet if I ever get too busy and I can't you're like, not fully gonna, commit. Well, if you're not gonna be too busy for me, which is not a thing, then you're not gonna be too busy for a podcast because the whole point of reality podcast is for us to like get on there and just like spill shit about each other and, and life I'm around have to be, us. like parenting then. And that'll be so perfect, because that is reality. <laughs> that is true. Literally, Facts. like, let's do one that's, like, not even fucking scripted, where we just hop on FaceTime and start recording. This is not scripted, and the other one we did is not scripted. No, I know that, but sometimes my podcast, like, I have an outline, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 but, like, I know what you're Ours are just, like, super random, like, whatever we talk about, you like, whatever we talk about. You know how long this is gonna be again? I know, shit. We're already recording okay. at eight minutes. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. How do Reel it you, back in. How to be a good sister. What do you how think? How to be a good... Or what what wait. makes us good sisters? Okay, so a couple ideas as to why I kind of feel these ways, I guess. Um, this way. I don't know if that sentence made sense. Um, well, first off, we really fell off the wagon for a really long time. <laughs> a lot of years we were not good sisters to each other. I mean, yes and Don't, no, no. No, be honest. No, no I am not. being honest. Because even though some of those times, like, we were really at each other's throats, there was also, like, many of those times where, like, I would still, like, drive you around or we still go get Sonic with each yeah. other or still, like, we were still absolutely sisters. It's just I feel like we were – we bickered a lot more. We weren't on the same yeah. page. Yeah. So we were very much so, like – because sometimes when we say that, it makes me feel like we were – we weren't, like, being sisters, but I feel like that's an absolute part of growing up. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I, I, okay. I get what you're saying. I can see where you're coming from. I do yeah. agree. So – because I feel like we had all that time where we were bickering and stuff. Now it's so easy to just have like any and every conversation. There's not much you don't know these days. There's a yeah. couple things, of course, because there needs to be some things in a marriage, you know, not much. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some things I'm sure, <laughs> but they're nothing big. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know what it is because we're always like, don't tell, tell everything. Don't tell Chris I told you this, or don't. <laughs> hey, Lai's just gonna kill me if he finds this out. <laughs> don't say this. He'll listen to this. <laughs> no, no, 
not gonna he's fucking probably, listen to our he's podcast. He's probably outside the he's probably outside the door eavesdropping. And he's probably got a stethoscope <laughs> up to the door, like, what's this bitch saying about me? <laughs> he probably is. But um he just got me off track. But um it's so easy to I feel like don't hate me for saying this, but I feel like we are two completely different people on most on most levels. And so yeah. because of that, I think it's almost like the opposites attract thing, but I don't I actually don't believe that in life, which I know is shady, but I don't, I believe, don't that. believe it either. I mean look at me and Chris. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know you I didn't know you don't believe that. I thought you were no, I don't, I mean, okay. like, me and Chris's sun signs, moon signs, all the freaking things, everything about us is so much similar. The only thing that's different is that I am, like, the calm fucking hippie, and he's, like, the something, something. Tight walk. <laughs> yeah. Tight walk. <laughs> like, I can say that. <laughs> he's, like, the other day, it was so funny, he was, like, you could be, like, the car could blow up, and you'd be, like, oh, darn. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, though. Seriously. I was like, well, you would worry enough for the both of us. Like, I wouldn't even need to. Like, like, I'm like, we have insurance. Everything's fine as long as we're safe, you know? And he's like, yeah, exactly. You know what that just made me think of? What? Oh, God. Now I have to tell you this. Oh, God. Okay. So, it's almost like we talk about the financial part of how you and Lige are similar and me and Chris are similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, you know, that just almost made me think of is like, in that scenario, uh-huh. I would have been Chris and Lige would have been you. Oh my god. Lige would have been like, we Lige married like, each oh. other. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but oh my seriously, god. though, like, and oh, you know that's what's funny? You know what's really funny is that they say like Virgo and Taurus are like soulmates. Did you know that? I mean, you've told me that before, and that makes sense. Yeah, that's really Listen, funny. That is. Actually, so that funny. I really just, like, deeply like, thought into that, because <laughs> that is true. Like, in that scenario, Lies would have been like, it's fine, we have insurance, and I would have been, like, planning out every step, like, uh-huh. oh my god, what are we going to do? How? What time are we calling insurance? What's next? What's uh-huh. our next vehicle? What are we supposed to do? Like... Yeah, I would have been totally worrying about that. Yeah. And I would have been, like, probably gone a week and been like, oh, shit, you know what? I got to go pick up my rental. I never did do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's definitely you. Oh, my God, that's funny. Okay. Um, do you have anything else of what you think makes us good sisters? Because we, we keep getting off topic, which is not yeah, surprising. Yeah, we do. No. Um, I think it's really just the ease of, like, being open and honest with each other. It's very yeah. easy. There's so many things we disagree on, but it's still so there easy is? to comp. Oh, yeah. Oh. I bet you we'll get more into it in this podcast, too. <laughs> bet you 20 bucks. You got something up your sleeve. That's what it is. I don't. No, I don't. But I, I just, don't. I, yeah, I just know it's going to happen. I but guess. Go ahead. I just mean, like, I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I I guess, like, my thing is always that, like, um, I never even think about things that we don't agree on. It's more so, like, we're always just so open to hearing each other's opinion on things. Like, yes, there's, like, when you, if, okay, so if you told me something completely out of left field that I don't believe in, I never believe in, I would just be like, oh, okay, cool. And, like, yeah. but, like, we could ask each other questions about it and never, like, judge each other and just, like, but, like, even, even more so, not even, like, agree to disagree, but even more so, like, understand both sides of it. I hope this mic is not picking up my baby crying. <laughs> if it is, that's fine. It's do you okay. Need, do you need to pause it? No, Lige is out there. I'm just letting okay. you know. Okay. It might pick that up. I don't think um, so. Okay. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I think the thing is, is like, even when we don't agree on something or we have very different opinions on it, it's easy to just be like, oh, okay. I mean, that's cool. Like, I respect yeah. that. Yeah, I and I, I really don't remember anything that we've not disagreed on. Because even like when we talk about it, like, we're Are always like... Are you kidding? No. Every... Okay. But, and that's the thing, though. Like, every time we talk about things, 
like one of us always says, oh, like, I guess I could see your side there. I guess I, I could see okay, what you're talking yeah. about. So yeah, we I don't, do that. I do agree. I mean, even though it might be different, we can still very much so like, mm-hmm. under, yeah, I would like still you. have that understanding of where one another is. No, I'd agree from. with that. Um, and then my other thing is that like we're each other's person like through and through. Like, um, I track your location and you track yeah. mine. Like, we always really know what each other's up to, what our plans are, what our ideas are. Um, the whole nine yards. So like. It's, not just in a, that probably sounds weird to some people, like, saying it that way, but not in a weird way. Like, in a... Crime junkie rule, like, a safe way. Yeah, a safe way, as well as a how can I support you with what you're doing right now type of way, too. Yeah. Because we, like, let's be real, we don't always have a support system outside of each other. And so, like, I want to know what's going on with what are you doing today? Like... Like, mm-hmm. give me a rundown of your day so mm-hmm. I know, A, when to bug you, when not to bug you. Mm-hmm. B, and I'm probably going to push limits on that anyways, but, yeah, B, <laughs> but B is, like, ha, like, what can I say text-wise, you know, like, okay, get up and go do it now. Or, you know, or just, yeah, okay, relax. You've had a day, now relax. Yeah, Even yeah. things like that, it's like... If I know where you're at location wise, and if I know what you're doing today, it kind of yeah. gives me an idea what to say. Yeah, and my I think the biggest thing is like we started doing this when you traveled over the summer to um, New Mexico um, to visit where you might be living, and that was when we started doing it, isn't it? Like tracking location? Yeah. I believe so, but I thought yeah. we did it when I was in North Carolina, too. I, I thought. I know. And then maybe too. we, like, turned it off or something. That just I doesn't know. seem right. Yeah, I agree, but I really thought in North Carolina I had my location on for you. Yeah, maybe I don't you know. did and I didn't. I don't know. But I'm anyway, sure. I think that um, tracking location, I want to say, like, it's such an important thing to talk about because... Um, I don't share my location with actually anyone else. Even Chris, actually. I just remember that. I do share mine with Elijah. I because probably there's quite, should. I probably there's should. quite often where, um, like, when Elijah's away and I'm at work. Or Elijah's yeah. away and um, I'm at the store. And he knows, for the most part, he doesn't call me when I'm at the store. I'm My biggest focus, if I'm at the store by myself with Ben... I don't want to be occupied with my phone. Yeah, I don't blame you. I need to be paying attention to Ben in public like that, you know? Yeah, I completely agree. But, yeah, it's just, like, the my biggest reason for it, and, like, I track Chris's location, but I don't think he tracks mine. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. should probably figure that out. But, anyways, you have my location. It doesn't matter. But I think it's such a safety mechanism, like, especially, like, for you, for me to know where you're at, for me to know where Chris is at, and then for you guys to know – where I'm at in case I, like, go to Reno or something happens, you know, like... Agreed. Like, crime junkie rule number one. <laughs> Agreed completely. Okay, so what question should we do next? Um, you can just go down the list if you want. Okay, okay. Well, On you... that text, and then if you don't have those um, last ones, I have them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do favorite memory of us, childhood, and adult. I will let you go first on the childhood part, just because I am really struggling on that. Okay. Um, A couple of things come to mind. One is the picture of us singing Backstreet Boys in the driveway. That's funny. Okay. And then um, also there, I remember like a really, it's really faint, but like there is this one time where me and you um, were living in that house on Orleans. And we were standing in front of the TV. We were still in our um, Catholic school clothes. And we were singing Backstreet Boys and crying. (laughs) Okay, so I actually do not remember it at all. I you have were just seen, really younger, like yeah, I've seen pictures, and it like almost like makes makes me vision what happened, but I don't like fully remember it. Yeah, but I, that would definitely be a top one for me too. Yeah, um, I also remember when I went to kindergarten, and I think <laughs> you had to go to preschool, and you were really sad. You were bawling. Aww. Yeah, it was so sweet. 
Okay, I don't remember that, but I do but, believe yeah. that happening. Yeah. yeah, and then um, probably another childhood memory that's, like, really, like, engraved in my mind was um, the bunk beds. And yes, the, when we okay, lived out in yeah. the country, like, we were always, like, putting our hands between the bunk beds because we were scared. Okay, so that was actually going to tie into what I th- thought was gonna be my childhood memory and that Uh ties into it yeah I would have to agree with it I was wondering if you're gonna bring it up yeah and we used to have like all this really old like uh school materials that came Mm -hmm. from one of dad's work or something like that and we used to play school and we played Mario Brothers on the Nintendo together so those are some of my like favorite memories of us oh that's funny yeah yeah okay what about you Okay, so childhood memory, like I said, that ties into it. Okay, so A, holding hands through the bunk beds. B, <laughs> my other one is, I I don't know why I remember this one so much. I think I thought it would. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Um, <laughs> do you remember the first time mom took us here to this house? Mm-hmm. And, like, she told us, like, we could pick out our rooms and whatnot. And, you know, you got the bigger one, you were older, and I got the smaller one, and, you know, we were, like, so excited and stuff, and then we moved in, (laughs) and the very first (laughs) night we slept separate, we literally, I literally came into your room, and, like, you were waiting for me. It was, like, you were almost, like, oh, there you are, finally. You know, like, like, we were on the same page in different rooms, though, that, like, we were not ready to sleep apart. Yeah, no, I definitely remember that. Well, I mean, and, like, we had been sleeping in the same bedrooms for what? Our entire lives. Like, but how old were we? We were, like, 12. Oh. I was 12. Okay, yeah, because I was 9, and I had my my first birthday here was my double digits. Yeah, yeah. So that's a long time to be together and never. And that's the thing, though. Like, we were not separated often, like. We went to the same schools. We did after school activities. The whole nine years, we were together. Yeah, and a lot of times when you hung out with your friends, I was always with you. If I hung out with my friends, you were always with me, almost like as a babysitter. But like you yeah. were there, you yep. know. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, that's really funny. Okay, adult memory. Adult memory, easy. I know um, what it is. Oh wait, <laughs> do you probably um, the Backstreet Boys concert? Oh, I do not know. Okay, here's a couple reasons. Okay, I can't wait. the Backstreet Boys concert was the coolest, most thoughtful gift someone could have given me. Like, it was thoughtful. It wasn't just, like, cool and fun and, oh, my God, we're going to a concert. Like, it was thoughtful. Yeah. B, (laughs) you made it. Don't make me cry. Okay, you made it about... You're going to make me cry. I can see it on your face. So I'm going to cry now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, B, you made it about me but not being a mom. Mm-hmm. That, I truly think that that was the first time since having been that I did not have to be a mom that night. Yeah. That I mean, like... You just made me feel very, like, okay with the fact that I left Ben three hours away. Mm-hmm. I would probably never do that again, but I mean, <laughs> 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 you know, it took a lot of convincing for that one. Also, that ties into our childhood because at the concert, like, singing yeah. and stuff, I don't have a lot of memories from our childhood, and the ones that I do have, which sounds bad, they're not positive. Right. And so singing at the concert together, which how cheesy, but that <laughs> reminded me of good parts of our childhood, yeah. you know, of just the two of us. It didn't make me think of our parents. It didn't make me think of things we were going through. You know, it didn't make me think of any of that stuff. It reminded me of good parts of it. Yeah. So that's probably my favorite one as an adult. I really, really, really love that. That makes me I so know. happy. Um, <laughs> the, what did you think I was going to say? I thought you were going to say the first time um, you came out to see me in Oak Harbor. Okay, I, that was probably my other one. Uh Uh-huh. And I think, okay, that was probably my second one, but I think it was because I feel like you saw me in a different way then. Holy shit. 
like I wasn't some little kid anymore. Yeah, when I looked I was at you, a full blown mom. I when I looked at you, and this is where I'm gonna cry. Oh God, don't do that. When I looked at you, I just <laughs> I didn't recognize you. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, this is That's pretty crazy, fucking weird. Like I was like, wait. We also hadn't seen each other in quite some time at that point too. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's, quite some time. What's the longest we've gone without actually seeing each other? I thought that was because yeah. I came out there in March and I the last time we had saw each other was before my before I got married in July. Yeah, so it was like July. So we went the, from July almost a year. <laughs> yeah, to March. Yeah. That's really funny because like that's not really that long. That long. <laughs> But you know what's really old. funny too is we're coming up on March. Yeah, and the last time we saw oh, each other was at the end of June. No, 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 no. We're gonna surpass. <gasps> that this will now be the longest. Holy fuck! Wow. Oh my god. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Not crying. Um, nope. that's intense. That is intense. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I, my favorite. I have a lot of favorite memories of us as an adult. One was like when we came together, um, when you were living in North Carolina and I was in Virginia Beach, like you came out to see us and we came out to see you. Um, I have that further down as one of my answers for something. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and like my first time meeting Lige and like just seeing you out there, I think that was a really f- f- favorite memory of mine um, as adults. And then, yeah, while um fourth of july in north carolina with you was a really good time i really loved that me as too a, as a me memory. too um and then i i have like every memory is my favorite oh memory. yeah um, I have a lot too. so backstreet boys concert was amazing and you um you know what's really funny about the backstreet boys concert is that the whole entire time like i feel like i was a lot about you and you were a lot about me the whole time. Yeah. I was like, we're going to go here for you. And then you're like, oh, I got a surprise here for you. And it was like such, it was so funny because it like, we were celebrating my birthday and we were celebrating, um, kind of like your Christmas gift. Cause that's what I got you for your Christmas gift. And no, that was my birthday bir- gift. It was Christmas and birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that was what it was supposed to be. But I, I was going to say, I think you. you told me, yeah, you told me around my birthday. That's why I remember that. Yeah. Um, Anyways, um, so, yeah, like, we were doing it <laughs> for the both of us. It was just really fun. Yeah. It was so fun. But And we were finally without, neither one of us had a significant other, and yes. neither one of us had, well, I never had been, you know, mm-hmm. there was no other family members. It was just the two of us. Yeah. And it had not been like that in so long. Literally, I can't remember Years. the last time. Well, no, because, well, yes, because I was going to say, well, no, because when you came out and visited me in March, but that was with Ben. We had yeah, been with us. that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. We, like, we continuously had Ben, obviously, yeah. we never had babysitter or anything. So freaking crazy. Yeah, and every time you came out in North Carolina, almost every time Lige was there. Yeah. I mean, he was always there, but I mean, like, anytime even we went out, he yeah. was there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's really crazy. Yeah, I know. Okay, so next question. I'm going to pull it back up. Okay. Favorite thing about each other? This one's super easy for me. Okay, what? Well, I mean, I want to say it's like my top one, but I mean, there's there's quite a few up there, but probably my top one, Uh you can always make me laugh. Literally drop of a dime. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> literally the drop of a dime lies would be like oh i can always make you laugh and i'm like no no i hate you <laughs> no he'll tell well, he'll tell me a joke and i'll be like i can easily keep a straight face sarah will tell me a joke and i'm like rolling on the floor yeah like literally i could be having the worst day ever yeah. actually there was quite a few times not to get too cheesy but there's quite a few times during my pregnancy when i was like this is the end of the world oh yeah i'm done I don't even want to make it to delivery. Like, I literally was at that point in my life where I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And you would make me laugh. You'd, like, literally have me cracking (laughs) up. And I would be like, I'm so miserable. And I'd be rolling on the floor laughing. That is so awesome. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that is like, you all freaking suck because I always say I'm such a funny person. Everybody's like, no, you're not. I am because too. Because it makes you funnier. Then you always say something and it's even funnier. <laughs> and then you make the whole room laugh then. Yeah. Not just me. Like, it's hilarious. That is funny. Okay, so my favorite thing about you, that oh, is no. honestly hard because I have so many different things. But See, that was hard for me too. Yeah. I don't, I, you became, you came better prepared from for this than I did Go figure. Not surprised there because, you know, nope. you're very much a planner and I'm very much a, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> um, a whim person. But honestly, um, just like who you are, like through and through, like you are very much someone who sticks to what they're saying, like, and you're very much someone who, um, when you speak, like people want to listen type of person like oh I don't believe that to save my life I I absolutely do like if you say something I'm just like wait what like (laughs) (laughs) and it's very much so like um you've really gone on like this journey of like figuring out you I feel like um yeah that's actually funny that you say that because there's been a couple points lately where I've thought about that and I'm like, I really truly think that, like, I I think about it and I'm like, I'm really like trying to like think of who I want to be and this, that and the other, you know, and I'm really like trying to become into a different person and stuff. And I think back on it and I'm like, I can't even have this conversation with anyone except Sarah. And I feel like no one would know that except you. (laughs) You I think about that often. That's so funny. Well, and, and like, one of the things that really reminds me of it is, like, the other day, like, in our Reiki session. Can I share this? I don't care. Okay, cool. Um, the other day in our Reiki session, like, <laughs> I was talking to you about how, like, I noticed, like, there is, like, um, just, like, heaviness, like, in different areas of, like, your body. And I was telling you ways to, um, you know, help clear that and, like, feel mm-hmm. better with it. And it was things that you were, like, already doing. You already had. And I was like, that's really funny because it's just, like, you're becoming more grounded in yourself, like, and who you yeah. are. And, I don't know, it's just really beautiful to, like, be a part of. But I could go on and on about things that I really love about you. Um, but I want them to be about you, like, not really about me. But one of the things that I do love about you that's kind of about me, too, is that, like, your ability to – know when I need tough love and know when I just need sister love. You're yeah. very, very good. You're like, like, there's never a time where I am, you don't hurt my feelings. You're, you're very much so like, Finally. yeah, like you're, we're on the same wavelength as what I yeah. feel like now. Like we are very much so like there. And see the, that's funny because growing up there's quite a few times where I, like I feel like we definitely weren't because I would give you tough love and you needed sister love and I yeah. was like yeah I can't give that to you right now like I, I was just like no I just need to give you tough love and I think that's because you couldn't give yourself love no not at all yeah definitely not so during that time so I felt like tough love was like the only thing I could do mm-hmm. and I didn't even at the time I didn't even think it was tough love I was just like I just gotta be honest with this girl like yeah. she's gonna get the fuck over it yeah okay so spill the tea on each other you can go first oh no don't don't do that to me because I need to know what kind of tea we're spilling literally so you... any there's no boundary <sighs> Okay, um, no, that's, no, you go first. No, you go first. (laughs) Okay, you know what, you know what comes to mind, and this is such a stupid thing, but it's just funny. (laughs) It's, it's, it's not bad, it's just funny, because I don't know why this comes to mind, but it does. Okay, so I'm not going to name drop anything, but this, you, I think you'll know who I'm talking about. Do you remember... When I don't, I don't honestly remember how old we were, um, but you were talking to a guy that you were not supposed to be talking to, and maybe you can fill me in later if this was a boyfriend or if it was just talking, because I was under the assumption you were just talking, but I could be wrong. 
Um, and he wanted to meet up with you at Hawthorne. Just talk and to you. you. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and you had to tell mom that you were taking me over to the playground to play. And you had to tell mom that so that way you could meet up with this boy. Oh, and I kept saying, I remember, like, I'm, no, I'm not going over there to play. Like, that's lame. Like, I'm I'm too old for that. Like, I, you know, was like, I'm, I'm not going over to a playground and playing. Like, this is stupid. And you were like, seriously, I'll, I'll help with chores. I'll do this. I'll give you money. Like, just go with me. Just go with me. Just go with me. I'll explain when we leave. Blah, blah, blah. So we left and we go over there. And this guy is standing there and like I very much so knew like who he was but I was like what the heck are we doing and Sarah's like like you're like just go off and play just go off and play like fine you're fine and I'm like yeah absolutely not I'm not leaving you you with this kid because I know damn good and well mom does not want you here talking to him and then at one point he started carving into the playground yeah, I was carving something into the playground, and I looked at you, and I was like, Mom would be so mad. And you were like, okay, I think it's time to go now. Okay, were the initials GF? Either that or... DG? Yes, that's okay. what I remember. No, I'm pretty sure it was GF. Okay, I can believe yeah. that. I can believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Oh, my God. That's actually really funny because that, that's what I think of, and I never told mom that. Oh, really? No. Oh. I never told mom that. Okay. Oh, and that's God. that's why it's really a spill the tea. Because, <laughs> and that's why I was struggling with what do I spill the tea on? I used to tell on you all the time. And so oh, now man. I'm like, what is something I haven't told mom? That's the one thing. Okay. So I'm going to spill the tea, but it's like kind of on us both. So I was oh, 18 no. and you were, um, what, like 16, I think. Yeah. And, um, you were in a fight with the mom and um you got mad at me because I was like you know what Katie um and I like spilled something on you I was like you're just gonna go run off to whoever or, like whatever or something like that and you were like you know what well guess what at least I didn't get a fucking tattoo without mom knowing and then you <laughs> sped off in your car <laughs> <laughs> and you threw rocks, and I was like, ah. and I was 18, so. I know exactly what you're talking about. I gotta go to therapy after this. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know where I went. I know who I saw. I I remember hitting I, the bricks and the rocks. I remember it all. Was that that day? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. wow. Sorry, I wouldn't have brought that up if I would have known it was that day, but I didn't know that. I no, thought, no, no, it's fine. I thought, um, oh, speaking of that, you just popped up on my phone, my little oh, widget. Oh, hey, that's a cute picture. That is. That's us in Virginia Beach. Yep. No, that's when we were in North Carolina, and we were at Waffle House, I thought. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. I just noticed that, too. Yeah, Waffle House in the corner. Yep, yep. Menu. Um, yeah, I just, re- I just remember that, and I was like. That is so funny. This bitch, I can't believe she tattled on me. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my god. That is so it bad. must have happened the next day though, because this was at night and the day that you got in a wreck, I was at clinicals. No, I'm not talking about those rocks. Oh, okay. That was a different time. Okay. I am talking about uh, which was a whole different situation. I'm oh, okay. talking about remember when how you... mom used to have those bricks outside yes. along the Oh thing? yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. remember yes. I came home and I fixed them and she was like, You I didn't know you had already told on me and um she was like, I can tell that the bricks were messed up. Well, I fixed them. And I was like, How no, she can't tell that. No, we were all outside when you stormed out and said this. We were on the patio. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of another time then. Yes, but you I are, do, but I know I what do you're talking remember, about. Yeah, yeah, I do I know remember that. That's so funny. That is oh my so god. funny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's really funny. I remember when I got my first tattoo, I just walked in Mom's house, and I wasn't living there, so I wasn't worried about it. I just walked in Mom's house, and I was like, I got a tattoo. And she was just like, you effing idiot, blah, 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 blah. And, and you looked at her, and you were like, 
that's it? That's all she gets? <laughs> because when you got your first one, it was so dramatic. Yeah, it really was. It was such a fight. <laughs> um, okay, I guess drives you crazy is the same thing as pet peeve. For the next question. So drives you crazy about it? No, I, no, nope. Okay, well you can do both then. Okay. Okay, it sounds like (laughs) you already have something, so go ahead. Okay, for drives me crazy about you. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, um, not like, I don't want to say it in a bad way, because it's not a bad thing. Dude, But there are times where, and this probably has a lot to do with like my Instagram type and stuff, Mm -hmm. like is where I bring it back to. You often care in my opinion care a lot about all the wrong things mm-hmm. like there's times you will care so much about something and I'm like why it's not a big deal let it go what let it go just get over it and you're just like I just can't stop thinking about it or what and I'm like no just get over it like it's fine are you talking about the thing we talked about the other night mm, no because honestly I would have felt the same way Oh, okay. Like, what? No, I, I I feel the same way for you, and it's not even my situation. Okay, okay. Because I was like, I think... No, of... that is so irritating to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not... Okay, we'll, we'll change the subject there, because I'm not going to get into it right now, but... Um, no, God, no. Um, can you give me an example? Because I am curious. Okay, um... Oh, now, how do I do that? Um... No, no, just say it. Like, it doesn't matter. No, it's, it does. It's really not that right, serious. Um, okay, how do I... No, I, I'm going to have to think about that, how to give an example. Just say what's what comes to your mind. You don't have to fucking, like, preface it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Mm-mm. I still live in Iowa. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, wait, what? I still live in Iowa. Yeah. Sometimes you Iowa? care... Okay. No, so sometimes you care so much about, like, hmm. okay, you know what, we're just going to do it. Okay. okay, there's often times you care so much about one thing that, this is just an example. Now, I'm going to preface out with this is just an example because I know people are going to listen. Uh, you will care so much about something dad said to you. Yeah. But you won't give two shits about something mom and Grammy said to you that I'm like, oh my God, how do you not care? Like how, <sighs> what? And you, you will get so hung up on something else. And I'm like, wait, how are you hung up on that? But you're not hung up on this. But it's like that with a lot of things. That makes sense. And here's what I can tell you. So there are some things that I'm still hung up on. But that I don't talk about because... Oh, I believe that. I don't want to paint a picture, but... um, And that's why, like, when I talk about dad, like, I've always asked you first before yes. I became more... um, Before I started talking about things with him, I asked you because I didn't yeah. want you to feel hurt or betrayed for me, like, coming yeah. out and speaking my truth about it. So, like, for years I never talked about anything to do with dad because I was just so nervous I would hurt your feelings. So I just didn't. But now that I know, like, we're on the same page and, like, you understand, like, it's not that big of a deal. But I don't have a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's very easily easy for me to talk about. Um, And then the other thing is that, like, Some of the things that, like, he has said and done, I feel like, are very much ingrained in me because, um, like, I was a child and um, I think that what I needed was a father figure. I needed a dad. I wanted a dad. And when he wasn't that for me, when he was, like, this dictator who was controlling and just all these uh, very emotionally abusive and kind of, in my mind, physically abusive, like, when I think of those things, like... I guess since I was a child, it's very much so ingrained deeper yeah. on a deeper level. Whereas some of it, I think if it would have happened when I was older, I would have been more in control. I would have been, and that's not necessarily 
the truth for so many people. I'm just saying, like, some of my thought process, you know, like... Oh, yeah. No, I would be sense. I would be on an emotional, mature level um, differently. Like, if he would say those things to me now, I would just be like, <laughs> like, fuck you. You yeah, know, like, yeah. it's it would be super simple for me. But the fact that I was already going through a lot of changes, like, you know, with my period, like, becoming a woman, and, like, so many medical things... Oh, yeah. It's, it was, like, a different level. Does that make sense? No, totally makes sense. And see, I get that because yeah. I often think that about mom and, like, Grammy. And there's times, I guess, it's just polar opposites, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I think we, like, come together because, like, we have, like, such different relationships. And we can respect each other's relationships now. Yeah. I think there was a lot of years that was hard, at least on my half. Yeah. And it's really easy for, like, when I feel something about what you say, like, if you say something that bothers me, like, I don't ever just be like, oh, my God, that bothered me. But I I ask myself, like, okay, what is it that she said that is bothering me and, like, why? Because it's never a you issue. It's a me issue. It's something that is offended. Like, it has offended me and that's on me. Like, there's a reason why that happened like that. Anyways, yeah. Me too. No, okay. I um, I have a really hard time with answering that question about you, like what drives you crazy about each other. Um, probably. I don't know. Oh, get out of here! You have to have something. I know, and I'm trying to think of it. I think that okay, okay. Oh God, I thought of something. Oh, go ahead, go. Okay. I'm ready. So sometimes I get a little annoyed when, like, Lige is, like, fucking, oh, my God, he drives me crazy. Um, But anyways, yeah. when, when Lige is, like, like, oh, my God, all you do is talk to your sister. Like, especially, like, when you guys were staying here and, like, you would have to, like, you know, like, go entertain him. Or, like, you guys would be, like, mean to me, and I feel like it wasn't really you. It was, like, you trying to, like, take his side type of thing. That is so funny because there's so many times, I swear to you, when I was out there Uh in Nevada, and I thought the same thing about you and Chris. Yeah, and... I swear. There were so many times I thought, I was just like, no, I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. Like, I'd I'd just shut it down because I was like, I'm looking into it. But I think we both felt that way. Yeah, and I think it's because, like, well, first of all, we were in a really small space, and second of all really tiny yeah and I think like for for me anyways like I really wanted to be just like all about you and all about Ben and then the husbands get jealous for that so and we still had to be wives at the end of the day but it's like yeah our relationship is so different so I don't really feel like we've had a lot of time to like be with each other and then at the end I had like a lot of resentment like not gonna lie, towards Elijah and even towards Chris, because I was like, I wish we could just fucking get some time together, right? So it was like pulling fucking nails to get time with you, because, but then, like, it wasn't fair at the same time, because I was trying to be very understanding, because, you know, Lige needed time with you as well, because he was about to leave, at least we thought, you know? Well, he did, just not for her. Yeah, just for way longer than what we had originally thought. So, you know, it was just really... It was a very unique experience, I think, for all of us. Dude, I literally could not agree more. And there were times, just like you said, where I was like, God, like, Chris won't leave her alone. Like, and and I was so irritated because, like, we, I mean, the port side is different, but, like, we thought that, like, Chris was going to be working more than he was. And obviously with the pandemic, just so much was different anyways. Yeah. But I was just like... Yeah. Go ahead. I was just like, why is he home so much? Like, this is ridiculous. Because I was never used to that. Yeah. Every time I go to visit you, Chris is either gone or he's just, like, hardly there because he's working. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was, like, such – I think it was a great experience. I wouldn't take any of it back at all. Um, Me neither. And I loved it. I loved living together. And I think if you guys lived in this house with us now, it would be a totally, totally totally different experience. Think about it all the time. Because this house is massive. Yeah. And as far as there's space goes, space. there's plenty. Plenty. Yes. Plenty. And, like, our bedroom is not literally attached to the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen there. Yeah. Yeah. 
And that's the thing. That was so hard. Like, I felt like we there was so many times we would have to leave and go on a car ride just to have a serious conversation in our marriage. Yeah. Because, like, I felt like someone was listening outside the door. And there were so many times where, like, I mean, not in a bad way. I mean, I don't want to say it in a bad way. But there were so many times Chris was. You know, yeah, he'd be he waiting right outside there. the door. Yeah. Like, waiting for us to come out. Or he'd be standing in the kitchen waiting for us. Or he would just walk in. And I'd be like, wait, 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 we're having a conversation. And we obviously weren't used to that because, yeah. you know, we've been living by ourselves. You guys have been living by yourself. Yeah, same. Yeah, anytime, like, we would have a serious conversation, Chris would be like, shh, keep it down. Keep it down. They can hear you. And I'm like, who the fuck cares? Like, I'm very much yeah, like, I don't give a too. fuck. Like, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't. There's no privacy. I'm already going to tell my sister this later. So. That is so funny because that is one of those moments where life is like you on that and I'm like, Chris, no, keep it down. Like, this is between me and you. Whatever. Even if I'm going to tell you later, I'm still like, no, no, no. They don't need to hear this right now. That's so funny. That is funny. That is one of those moments, you know? Yeah. Okay. Biggest pet peeve. Oh, um, my biggest pet peeve about you, easily, how much you spill stuff on yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I was low-key not expecting that. Oh, my God. You okay. You spill stuff all the time. And I'm like, I, Ian, oh you know what God. really irritates me? What? Sometimes you don't clean it up. And I'm like, bro, you just spilled salad dressing on the table. Like, clean it up. And you're like, oh, I will. 20 minutes later. I'm exactly. like, no, just do it now. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll definitely get to it, but, like, it's going to be on my timing, okay? Yes. Okay, so, <laughs> biggest pet peeve, um, I don't really feel like I have one for you. I would have to be around you again to, like, know, because I'm sure. False, you have to have something. I'm sure I fucking do, but I know Chris's biggest pet peeve <laughs> for Shut you. Up, I you're, n- you're not going to believe what it is. No, I need to know now. This is great. Shocker. The word shocker? He <laughs> hates it. It's like nails on a fucking chalkboard. It's like biting words. Because Chris is so much like not a sarcastic person. So every time oh, you you would say that and you just said it like, oh, shocker. Like, you know, like nothing. He, oh, oh, oh my, God. my God. I had I'm no idea how much it bothered to, like, him. cry laughing, but that's the best thing I've ever yes. heard. He's going to kill me after this. <laughs> <laughs> he he would literally oh like God. after you left I was I was picking up picking it up and I was saying it like shocker and he'd yeah. be like okay Katie and I'm like what? Oh my god that's the funniest thing Until in the world. Until I realized and he told me he was like I can't stand that. It it gets under his skin so bad like he wants to hit something. He hates that. <laughs> That is the funniest thing I've literally ever heard. And it's not just, like, you, obviously. It's yeah, just yeah. the word, the, the, the tone behind <laughs> it. That's what it is. Okay, let's add, okay, we're going to add a question to this podcast real quick. This is a fun one. Okay, what? What is your biggest pet peeve that Lige does? And I'll tell you what Chris is. Oh, honey, I got all day for this. Right? Me too. Oh, my God. Especially now that we've lived with each other, right? Yeah. Okay, so Lige, especially when we were living together, even right now, my biggest pet peeve is him constantly wanting to go. Oh, you're not kidding. (laughs) I'm like, just, like, sit the fuck still for five minutes. Sit down. Yeah, sit down, chill He out. is always, like, the first thing. Like, I hadn't even had my coffee yet, and he would be like, yep. what are we doing today, fam? Yep. He's what like, do you go. mean? What do, what do you mean? And yeah. and his constant wanting to eat out. Oh, my God. You that boy. Now. You, that boy cannot eat a fucking meal at home. Like. No. He. But I, I'm pretty bad about it, too. I'm not going to lie. I just get bored. I mean, I guess. I guess, like, if I had the money to eat out all the time, like, it wouldn't bother me. And if I had the stomach for it, it probably wouldn't mm-hmm. bother me. But the fact that everything makes me so sick, yeah, that's, totally different. that's probably what it is for me. And then, yeah. like, you know, Chris Chris is, like, a tightwad. So, mm-hmm. major tightwad. Like, major, major tightwad. Yeah. So, um, 
yeah, I think that those are my two biggest pet peeves with him. Oh, and when we live in our own place, we're not near as bad. Yeah, I, that's the, yeah. when I'm in my own kitchen, it's a yeah, lot yeah, yeah. different. Though. Yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely know that. But like, he wouldn't even like try half the stuff I would cook. He no. just like immediately turned his nose up to it. Nope, he doesn't try. He's and that still, he me still doesn't try stuff I make. And then also, what also drives me insane about this him is, funny. Go on. is how rough he is. <gasps> oh my god, I get on I can't. Sometimes. When he grew up with that many siblings, I get it. Like, you have to, like, I get yeah. that. Yeah. But it just, it, no, uh, I totally, totally agree with you. And I'm not talking about, like, with just anybody. I'm talking about, like, even, like, with me. Like, he's, he would take things so far sometimes, like, when we were play fighting. Okay. So, um, I actually would totally agree with that and it drives me insane too. And I like, we literally have these conversations all the time. He is trying to change. I, it's just like, oh my God, sometimes I'm like, okay, just hurry up and change. <laughs> and like I rush it. But no, I, I would have to totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's definitely one of those things. Like, do yeah. you remember that one time where he felt so bad, but like, Oh, he like hit me in my face and my nose or something like when you're <gasps> roughhousing. <gasps> no. Yeah, and I, I don't remember. He, it was here. I believe it, but I just don't remember it. Yeah, it was so funny. Okay. Oh god, that's. Oh, you're turning about Chris. Yeah, biggest pet peeves. Okay. okay. A. Um, he is Mister Know It All. Yes. Like, like he knows everything. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it is. It's this way and it's that way and it's this way and it's that way and I'm like, no, just shut up. <laughs> like he he knows everything. Yes, Virgo B, trait for sure. Yeah, you're not yeah. kidding. Virgo B, um, like he thinks he knows everyone. Shut yes. up! No, you don't. Oh my god! But you know what? The funny thing is, is it always ends up being that. Not always, but most of the time, yes. Yeah, but still, and it's like, so can annoying. you just be quiet? Like, yes. oh my god. And he'll yeah. be like, I know her. And I'm like, no, you freaking don't. And then he pulls her up. He's like, yeah, look. And I'm like, what? What do you yes. mean? No, ow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, we'll be talking about someone from The Bachelor. And he's like, what's the name again? I know that person. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, like no, no, you don't. Chris, Get out of here. She's on TV. No, totally. Yeah, I totally okay, agree. Okay, what was the other one? Um, those are probably my two biggest ones, is that he thinks he knows everything. Uh-huh. And, and Elijah's like that often, too. And I think that's part of why it irritates me, is like, I live with one know-it-all. I can't mm-hmm. handle another one. Yeah. And then definitely that he thinks he knows everyone. Those are my biggest ones that I'm just like. I thought you were going to um, bring up the, the fridge squatting okay so that irritates the heck out of me but thank god i don't live there anymore so i don't have to see it so it's not something that still irritates me. <laughs> okay so what i'm talking about just so you guys have some backstory is that oh god Chris we need to not... post a picture on social media <laughs> i really i took a video i saved that video <laughs> thank god i know so chris does this thing where he will not cook he will just if i say like i'm not cooking right now he will Go grab something random out of the fridge. And he will pour. And I yep. mean pour. Not squirt. Pour ketchup or mustard on it. Yep. And then he eats it so fast. So he and just, cold. Yeah, and cold. He never heats it up. He just gobbles yep. it down like in five seconds. And he does it like squatting in front of the fridge with the door wide open. Like, he's yes. just, like oh, God. It's Biggest so irritating. Feet. It really it's is. It's so irritating. It really is. Okay, so moving on. Next one is three words to describe your sister. This one was so easy for me. Okay, go. I had quite a few, but the easiest ones. A, super ambitious. You want to do everything always. You want your hand in so many different things, and I think that's the coolest thing. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, it's really hard for me to keep up with it yeah. only because, only because, I have so much going on in my own life that Uh I'm like, oh my God, wait, like, like I have to keep up with all of Ben's stuff, doing all of this for Ben, keeping up with all of Lige's crazy shit, my own crazy shit. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh my God, and I have to keep up with Sarah's stuff. But I freaking love it. Like you're in the wildest shit. I think it's the coolest thing. (laughs) So love that. Okay. 
super ambitious. Um, You're hilarious all the time. Even when you're sad, you will crack a joke and I'm like, oh, there's that trauma coming out. (laughs) It's hilarious, though. It's so funny. That's pretty legit. Um, The last one, super serious about this, I know you're probably going to laugh. You're brilliant. Like, when I say brilliant, though, I don't mean like, (laughs) oh, she's so book smart, blah, blah, blah. No, I mean like, you know a little bit about everything. And it kind of ties into that first one. And you're like, if you don't know something, you're like, hey, I'm going to Google this and learn it. And you'll, re- you'll retain it. And, like, I could Google something and I'm going to forget in 20 minutes. That's interesting. Huh. Like, that literally, I'm going to forget in 20 minutes. And so, quick question to add to it. You don't have to have an answer for this. Okay. I just, I just thought about this at the beginning when you're talking about stuff. Biggest thing I'm jealous of you for is how much you retain, how much you remember things. Yeah, like you remember, like I'll tell you something three weeks ago and you're going to remember it. You tell me something 20 minutes ago and I'm going to have to ask you a couple more times before we get off the phone. Like I I forget like so much stuff and you're just like, oh, I remember that. And I'm like, wait, I told you that? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Or like you remember stuff from our childhood and I'm like, shit, I wish I remembered that. You know, yeah. just, like, in things you learn. Like, oh, I learned that in nursing school. Do you went to nursing school, like, years ago? And you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. And I'm like, wait, what? That's funny. I don't even remember when I graduated high school. Like, <laughs> Well, those are, very, those are very interesting. Um, yeah. So one thing that I'm jealous of you for. You I, don't have to have an answer to that. I just had to throw it I in there because like, I was thinking about that during this whole thing. I feel like you know what it is. Oh, no, I don't. You don't know what I'm jealous of you for? <gasps> no, what? Oh, God, what? what? Now I'm nervous. It's what? Obvious. That I should know. That I should know. What? You have been. You're but a mom. You have been. No, I don't have been like you have been. You're a mom. That is true. That and is you're a true. really good mom. And that's one of the things I love about you. So, um, the three words to describe you, I would say, is phenomenal mom like one of the best moms I know like through and through like honestly honestly um and then it's really funny that you call me brilliant because I think that you're pretty brilliant um that was yeah actually um just because like I don't know you're you're such a planner. Like, you have things yeah. down. Like, you don't have to second guess it. You're just like, boom, done. I already know what I'm doing. Like, you're very yeah. thorough. And um, it's just really funny because that's how Chris is, too. That's the control freak in me. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> um, and then my um, – I just had it. The third thing about you, uh, supportive. Like, anything you're like – you're like my rarity. You're like, yep, do it. Okay, what, when are you doing it? Um, you, you're not doing it yet? And it's really funny because you'll be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot that was today. And I'm like, what? I didn't even tell you. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, like, how supportive of you are. You'll be like, oh, Oops. my God, I'm so sorry I missed that. And I was like, no, I, I literally just planned this. I never did tell you about it. <laughs> I feel bad because there's so many times that I'm like, like, I'll write so much of my planner on my calendar, sticky notes, notes on my phone and stuff, like, to plan all this out. And I'm like... There's sometimes I will have a note in my phone of what I need to have a conversation with you about because I'm like, okay, she reminded me of this and I'm like, okay, I need to remember it. But like if I'm having just like a, a lot of my memory problems come from my seizures. Yeah. And so I still really, really struggle with that. And so um, I have to write these things down so I don't forget. And then that makes me, I'm like, oh my God, did I write? forget that and then I'll feel awful because it was something you're talking so passionately about but there's 20 other things happening literally on the other side of this iPad right yeah you know like like Ben running around Ben just threw something uh Ben touched something he's not supposed to mom 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 you know things like that and I'm I'm like oh shit I forgot I get that I get that that makes sense yep okay if you had a time machine would you go back to our childhood or our future I already know what you're going to pick. Of course. What is it? Our future, for yep, sure. Same. I don't miss our childhood. Um, I miss, I do miss it. I miss um, the fun parts. Of course parts. you do. Like, the really fun parts. I mean, there are some times, yeah. like, we had a lot of fun. Like, 
um, like we've gone to the zoo in Six Flags and um, the Mall of America and mm-hmm. um, about 85% of this I don't remember that's why I don't go back to our childhood <laughs> when we went to Michigan together um, really like yeah, yeah most we, I don't that's so like cool. I can I see pictures and it uh-huh. it kind of starts to jog on a memory but I'm like do, do I actually have this memory is it just seeing a picture that's Most interesting. Of that I know. Well, once I um, finish my hypnotherapy certification, we should um, play around in those memories. All for it. All Let's for it. it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I would go to our future, too, just because I would love to have a glimpse of what we will be in the future. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see where we're going, how we're going to end up, like... Like, how close in proximity are we going to live? Like, is Ben going to be living with you in summers like we used to do with, like, like in Michigan, you know? Like, like just yeah. fun things that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Yep. Yep, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I would be excited That's for gonna that. That's going to be cool. Yeah, me too. I agree. Okay, favorite visit together? Okay. Um. So... This is what I talked about earlier. Kind of ties into that answer you had earlier. So, when you came to North Carolina. Yes. So, um, just give a little, like, when you talk about our favorite, your favorite trips, like, give just, like, a little highlight of, like, what your favorite part of it was. Okay. When, actually, I thought it was super cool when you and Chris both came. Yeah. And it was me and Lige. And we just, like, the whole thing, literally the whole thing was, like, one huge double date. Yeah, and... And it was so much fun. We got to do all, all this stuff. Well, not everything, but we got to do so much of my favorite parts of North Carolina. Yeah. And we got to do it with our husbands. Yeah, that was really cool. And that was that was just the coolest thing ever yeah. to me. And he was not your husband at that time. No. No. Just, just a boyfriend. We weren't even engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, um, my other ones are just about any time in Washington, A... I loved your house. Yeah. I loved Washington. Yeah. I thought we always had a new adventure every single time we went. And when, even when we were just sitting on your couch, I freaking love your couch. You already know that. I seriously love your couch. Yeah. Um, But we were just having such great conversation. Yeah. Or if we were just completely silent, I had help with Ben. Yeah. But help that I didn't feel bad about asking for. Yeah. It was like you wanted it. Yeah. And that's, like, my biggest secret. So, like, if any sisters are tuning into this, this is, like, and you probably already know this at this point, but um, I know, like, how you are. And the biggest thing is that you don't like to ask for help. And that never that's probably one of my biggest things, biggest pet peeves about you. I'm yeah. Like, just let me fucking help you. So what It's one I, of my biggest pet peeves about myself. So yeah. we're on the same page there. So it's really funny because I would, like – make it I would word things to where it was like for me because you're always about mm-hmm. helping me so I would be like I am like lonely tonight like can I please have Ben and I knew you were lying yeah so um I knew <laughs> the only way to get you to say yes to something yes. was to make it about me and really like take off the pressure of you so you could have like a mom night off but like with yeah. someone you trust right so like <laughs> And, and I mean that because, like, I mean, it was about me, too, because I loved having that time with my nephew, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was very, very much, like, serving in the purpose to, like, serve you. But, I mean, totally got my own thing out of it because, you yeah. know, I loved having Ben. So, it was nothing, nothing for me. But yeah. I would try to do that, you know, like, once a week or come over once a week and stay the night whenever Chris is like deployed or whatever, helping you out with Ben. But yeah. And I think it's a lot easier because not like in a, not in a bad way. I don't mean this to sound in a bad way, but like you always follow my rule of parenthood and you don't ever question them. You're not right. like, well, well this is better. Yeah. Like you're not, 
you're not questioning my decisions on things. Yeah. And I don't trust anyone else because everyone else always has their own opinions. They always say, well, you need to do it this way, not that way. Well, if you were smart, this is how it would go. You don't ever say that. You're like, okay, explain to me why you do it that way. And I, and okay, that's cool. We'll we'll do it. Yeah. Well, I think it's easier for me to do that too, for a couple reasons. One is because I'm not a parent and I don't know. And two, it's, like, there's so many different ways to do things, and neither is, like, right or wrong. And three, like, you're, at the end of the day, like, you are the parent. Like, that's what it is through and through. Like, there's there's no arguing there. Like, you know, if I want my nephew, I need to respect you. But nothing that you do I disagree with, except I felt like there was something, but I can't remember what it was. Ooh, think of it. I want to know. I I don't really actually know. No. Um. I I had I knew of something a while back. I was like, oh, I don't like that. But also, like at the end of the day, like it's really easy for me to sit here with ten hours of sleep and be like, oh, I'd probably do that differently. When that's probably not the actual reality because I'm not a mom. I'm not sleep deprived. I don't have any of those things to worry about. So it's really easy for me to say like without a kid like, oh, I'm definitely going to be this type of parent. Like be like this X, Y, and Z. But then like, you know, it would look a lot different when I actually have the kid and I actually have no sleep and no help and all the things, you know. So that's the one thing like anything like you say or do – I just like, okay, cool, we're going for it, you know, because, like, yeah. and, like, if you ask my opinion, like, I'll absolutely give it to you, or, like, if you need help figuring something yeah, out. Yeah, but you, when you give me your opinion, you don't make me feel bad about it. Yeah, I try not to anyways, because, like. No, you don't make me feel bad about it. A lot of people do. And, like, you're really good at, like, yeah. no, this is just my opinion. And also, on the sleep-deprived thing, that's really funny because I was thinking about this the other day, and I was like, oh, my God, I need to talk to my therapist because I'm struggling with this so bad. A, during my pregnancy, I was like, I'm not going to do this, this, and this, and now I see myself doing it. B, I also am like, oh, my God, like, how little sleep I get. I'm so upset because I'm like, I know I'd be a better mom if I had more sleep. And, like, I should be up doing something. I should be this. I should be that. And I'm, like, I need more sleep, and then I could do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I think it's all about um, balance in a way that works for you. Like, you know, obviously life is all about balance. But, like, figuring out, like, I don't know, what, what works for you and, like, what doesn't. And I think that you should... Personally, like, I think you should have a weekend where you clock out. Yeah. Like, where you, like, go to a hotel by yourself, not with Lige. Yeah. And, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I'm pretty sure him and Kip and Mom could figure it out. Like, it's... Ben it'll is going, never happen, but I agree. <laughs> ben is going to live, like, he's not going to be that traumatized. Like, it'll be okay. No, he'll be fine. But, yeah. No, I agree. Okay. We were talking about business with each other, by the way. That's where all this came from. We were talking about what? Visits with each other. Visits with each other, yes. Visits. Were you done? Yes. Okay. Okay, so my very top one visit is the first time I met Ben. Like, hands down. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Probably, like, I don't think anything will ever top that ever again in my whole entire life. Ever. Favorite memory. That was probably my favorite Washington one. Yeah, that's my favorite memory, period. Because, honestly, like, yeah, um, meeting Ben was really special, but that whole trip was really special because it was just me, you, and Ben. And I got to show you, like, my new life up there and, like, show you Seattle. Like, we just had so much fun. We ate so much good food. We watched so much good TV. Yeah. And it was amazing. Every Every yeah. ounce, every picture, every part of it was, like, my favorite, especially – The part where you peed your pants while we were taking (gasps) family photos. Oh, my God. I forgot that was that trip. Yes, yes. I remember that. I'm pretty sure my photographer thought that you were crazy because she's not – she never had a kid before or anything like that. And she was just like, "Ah, okay. Now she she has one and another baby on the way, so I hope she kind of understands where I was going. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's really funny that you know that because I don't follow her at all anymore. I have her on Facebook and I actually really love the stuff she posts. She drives me crazy. Oh, yikes. Okay, that's tea there. Yeah, no, for real. I have that's like so funny. no respect for people like I, it really bothers me like when you support someone through and through and through and you send them referrals after referrals and people who actually book with them you pay their prices in full not even like you know questioning it yeah and then they can't even freaking like a picture that you post or like or like like the support is not reciprocated yeah and they know what you're doing because they bring it up or they've said things about it that that kills me and that just no I, I could see that and instead of me being upset and triggered every time she posts I just deleted her no I can and see I that for sure I literally haven't thought about her since the day I deleted her until just now so <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the tea sis <laughs> and all of her pictures are so perfect all the time and I'm just like that's <gasps> you're not, not kidding that irritates me too yeah. I will say that I'm like you this is not reality at all but I will say yeah. without her I would have never gotten into lashes Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about. Oh, wow. Okay, so, I mean, we we all kind of got a side hustle out of that. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Hmm. And that's the tea. Um, Okay, anything else that is juicy or gossipy that you want to let out? We still had two other questions. Oh, shit, we do? What? And they were your questions. Oh, well. Yes. I thought we if kind you of covered want them, them, I don't. I totally don't care. Okay, no, I think we did kind of cover them. Okay, so what would our reality? I'm confident. I'm confident in that we covered them enough, but I, it's totally up to you. Yeah, I feel like we covered them enough. Um, but what would our reality TV show look like? And um, for me, uh, we're, it's going to be a thing because we're going to make a reality um, podcast. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> oops, oops! I said it. Darn. <laughs> speaking it into existence it is what it is um so that is happening coming soon you guys stay tuned i cannot oh God. wait listen i you don't have to do anything okay you just have to show up and post share my post you can copy and paste that's it that's good because i have no talent on that kind of stuff i will literally do all the editing i'll make the instagram i will add you as an admin and then you can post on there too. You can share things. Do whatever the fuck you want. Like that's all you have to do. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so there it is. It's done. We have decided. Okay. We have decided. What are we gonna okay. name our podcast? I don't know. We'll discuss this later, woman. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I can't be creative on the spot like that. Okay, well, think of some things like I will. Like yeah, sister. Sister, You're sister. Not, no. sister. No, no, this is not this is not creative right now. <laughs> Sisters that love the boys, the backstreet boys. <laughs> Ew, yeah, I don't, oh, we it's gotta... my husband's birthday today, Nick Carter. Oh, I was like, no, it's not. Forty one years old. Yeah. <laughs> He's old. <laughs> you know, and like the thing is, is like I really love Brian, but honestly, like Ooh. I feel like I'm kind of making some room in my life for Sal Volcano. <gasps> Yeah, he is dreamy, and I not so funny. And I think Chris is getting nervous because he's like trying to memorize Sal's dance moves. Oh God, and he's I like, saw. Like, look at me, look at me. Like, come on, wifey. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but Sal. <laughs> that is so funny. And if people don't know what I'm talking about, it's Sal off of them Practical Jokers, which is the best show like ever. <laughs> it's so, so funny. So there's that. Yeah, there's that tea. Um. Yeah, so what what do you think, like, we can give them a little dose now. What would our, our reality TV show, if we ever did that, or a YouTube channel or something like that? Okay, it would be always funny. Literally. Like, freaking hilarious, and lots of Starbucks trips. We have a lot of good conversations on the way to and from Starbucks and at always. Starbucks. Always. Yeah, definitely. That would be a lot of it. Yeah, that like, car chats with... With the sisters or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, on our way to get Starbucks. Um, love it. Love it for us. Love it for us. Um, love it. 
so yeah, wrapping up, anything else you want to, you know, spill the tea on? Last time you were on this podcast, you spilled juicy tea that the whole tiny town of Keokuk loved to tune into, so... I don't want to say that they loved it. I think they're all just nosy. Um, there are some people that I know loved it, and I think that's so funny because I'm still hearing from people about that podcast almost a year later. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's we should really do funny. a year update. Okay. On your birthday again? Okay. Like your healing journey of it? Okay. We could do that. That'd be really cool. We could do that. Yeah. So if you guys are, like, super lost on what we're talking about – Go back and listen to, um, it came out April 23rd, and it was labeled Katie's birthday episode, and it was all about her and even me sharing our truth about something that was dramatic and traumatic that happened mostly to her, but to me as well, and our family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was super... um, gossipy because that's small town life small town drama um yeah yeah and that's that so all right sis anything else (laughs) you could have just said that out loud really but she just sent me a text um anything anything else that's so funny um no, I don't yeah. think so. I'm, I'll probably think of something, of course, when we get off yeah. here. All right. Well, we will wrap it up at an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like we were talking that long. But no, really um, I will tell you, if you love me and my sister like I love me and my sister, and I know you will because it's me and my sister, then get ready to tune in to our reality podcast <laughs> coming <laughs> to a podcast app near you but i'm bum <sighs> all right thank you oh, guys boy. so much for listening katie say bye you love them bye don't love you oh haha <laughs> just love my sister <laughs> you're such a bitch <laughs>